Go boxers! This month we're going to write a program that measures the distance from our ultrasonic sensor and keeps track of that distance, letting our program stop when we see an obstacle. As always, I'm going to start out by connecting to my GoPygo. Choosing VNC. And entering my password. Once I'm connected, I go ahead and start Scratch. I haven't updated my GoBox yet this month. This would be a great time to do that. And then I can go ahead and start programming. I've plugged my ultrasonic sensor into the correct port, and I've checked to make sure nothing's in the way of it and I put my GoPygo on its back just to make sure we're not gonna have any problems while we're testing. And now I'm ready to go ahead and write my program. As always, I'm gonna start by telling Scratch how I'd like to start my program. D for distance this month. My broadcast command is Get dist for get distance. And I'm going to go ahead and just check and make sure that I'm getting the value I expect before I keep going. Always a good idea to check and make sure your sensor's plugged in correctly and you're getting the values you expect. One ten. Now I put my hand right in front of it and it gets much smaller. I take my hand away and it gets bigger again. So I'd say my distance sensor is plugged in correctly and working. So now I'm going to go ahead and think about what I actually want this program to do. In this program, my robot's going to be moving forward. So we're going to get it once we get that first distance reading. We're going to go ahead and get it moving forward. And now we want it to keep doing something. We're actually going to go ahead and have it repeat until. So we're going to go down here and grab this repeat until. So we want it to keep doing something until something happens. So let's think about what we want it to do first of all. Well, we want it to keep checking on the distance sensor. We're already moving forward, so we can leave that alone. Should probably wait a little bit of time. We don't need to necessarily be continually checking. Although we could, depending on how accurate you want to be. And I'm going to repeat until value on my distance sensor it's less than 20. You might want to think about what number works for you thinking about the space you're moving around in and how close you want to get so you don't bump into anything. And then once I've found an obstacle I want to stop because that's going to give the person holding onto the harness the information they need to realize that they should stop. It's always a good habit to end my program by just stopping everything. So let me go ahead and test this out. After I test it, I may want to come back and think about some ways to let this work for more than one turn, or for more than one obstacle. But for now, let's see how this works, and I will leave you to test yours. Good luck.